Welcome to Data Preparation. In this video, I will show you how to explore a dataset. Exploring a dataset means analyzing the data in the dataset to understand it. What is the data structure? What are the variables included? The relationships between the variables? The amount of inconsistent or invalid data? Click this sidebar icon to open the datasets pane. On the tile of the dataset that you want to explore, point to More Actions and select Explore. I have selected the World Sales dataset for exploration. The dataset opens in the exploration mode with the Data tab open. On the Data tab, select the columns that you want to analyze. For this example, I will leave all the columns already pre-filled in the Columns field. Then click Explore. The selected columns are displayed in a table view. Click the Profile tab. In this tab, you can see data statistics for a selected column, either in a detail or a summary view. For example, the Sales Date column. The summary view shows dates grouped in bins by year. I will click the More Options icon and select Detail View. Now, all the dates are displayed as unique values. Point to a bin to see the number of values in the bin and the number of rows with these values. In the drop-down list, I will now select the Region column. All the regions included in the data set are displayed. Point to a value to view the number of rows with this unique value. You can sort a value by row count, its frequency, or by name. To filter data based on the bins or values, right-click an item and click Keep Only or Exclude. I will now select North America and South America. Right-click the selection and click Keep Only. The table is automatically filtered to show only the two regions. The filter icon appears in the column name header. Click the Pivot tab, then click the Pivot Mode checkbox to group data by the columns you choose. To start summarizing data, I will select the checkboxes in the following order. Region, Country, and Product Line. Then I will add Gross Sales and Number of Customers. Observe how the data is grouped in the table. I will click the arrow icon next to North America to expand the group then expand the United States subgroup. The table data is grouped by default by the dimensions that I selected, in the order in which I selected them, also visible in the drill navigation path, region, country, and product line. To change the aggregation of a measure, click that measure in the values section, and then select another aggregation type from the drop-down list. To distribute data vertically by a column, on the sidebar, drag the column handler to the column section. I have chosen story type for this example. Notice how the three values of the store type column appear as new column headers. Click the filters tab. Under region, I will select Caribbean. You can exclude or re-include data in the table at any time for different perspectives on the data. After exploration, the data view can be exported in several file formats, such as Excel. You have learned how to explore the data set, namely view the data statistics and apply exclude or keep only filters. Use pivoting to regroup the data for different perspectives. Re-include or exclude filtering values. Exploring datasets is a quick method to get familiar with data before you use it to create visualizations and reports. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video.